The SEC East, well, it's now out of Mizzou's control. A loss at second-ranked Georgia last weekend cemented that fate. But head coach Eli Drinkwitz says there is still a lot to play for with these final three regular season games. The Tigers are already bowl eligible, but will look to play its way into one of those more valued bowl games this season. It's a college football playoff top 14 clash at Faroe Field today. 14th ranked Mizzou hosting 13th ranked Tennessee. The fourth straight sellout at Memorial Stadium. First time that's happened since 1980. Running back Cody Schrader looking locked in for this matchup with the Volunteers. Mizzou has not beaten them in four years. Now, let's skip to the second quarter. It's seven to three balls, but Schrader made an instant impact today. He gets this pass on the outside and he has plenty of space. And that sets up the Tiger offense nicely deep in Tennessee territory. A few minutes later, they're gonna let the St. Louis native finish off that drive. Schrader gets into the land of six, just the start of a historic day for the former Division II standout. 10 to seven, Mizzou on top at Faroe. Legendary Mizzou football coach Gary Pinkle was on hand to watch this one, and Mizzou put on a show for him. The Tiger defense stood tall. Joe Milton hits Jalen right over the middle, but that man got rocked by Tristan Newson and Chris Abrams drain. Ball is loose and the Tigers recover. Mizzou with the football now, just 20 seconds until halftime. Hand off to Schrader. O-line creates a massive hole and he finds daylight. He's tough to catch once he's in the open field. He had more than 100 yard rushing yards and 90 receiving yards in the first half alone, but MU settles for a field goal there, up 13 to seven at the break. Out of the locker room, Mizzou offense comes out firing. Cook rolls out. He sees something downfield, airs it out, and my goodness, what a catch from Marquise Johnson. Tigers get into the red zone, and Cook is gonna finish this one off with his legs, calling his own number for another Tiger TD to get some breathing room over Tennessee, 19 to seven after a failed two-point conversion. Now let's jump to the fourth quarter. Now 22 to 17 Tigers, Cody Schrader is still getting plenty of work. Just keep feeding the man. Another tough run to set up a touchdown. It's now 29 to seven Tigers after that touchdown. And here's the nail in the Vols coffin. Milton back to pass, but Dalen Carnell is there for the interception. More than that, he's there for the pick six. What a cherry on top of this win at Faroe Field. Mizzou beats Tennessee for the first time in four seasons. 36 to seven is the final from Faroe Field. An absolutely dominant win over the Vols. All on the running back, on the back of running back Cody Schrader. He had 205 yards rushing and 116 yards receiving on the night. ABC 17 Sports Director Natalie Jones was at today's game and has more from Schrader himself. There are quite a few takeaways from Mizzou's big win in this top 14 class here at Faroe Field. For one, the Tigers, they are 8-2. and two. They beat Tennessee for the first time in four seasons. But the biggest one, if you ask me, is the former D2 running back, the man Cody Schrader. He means business, guys. We saw that tonight. you got to think about this. Just two years ago, he was playing Division II football at Truman State. One year ago, he was walking on here at Mizzou, and now tonight he made history as the only running back in SEC history to have 200 rushing yards and 100 receiving yards. That's an unbelievable feeling I mean just looking back I mean you guys know my story by now I mean just seeing where I came from and then you know having a team and a brotherhood that you can feel that real love in the locker room that's something you always look for and you know and I'm just extremely blessed to be a part of this team and, and, and we'll never forget it for us in my life it's an open invitation to anybody that believes in themselves that believes they can come in here and compete we're gonna have an opportunity for you um, and every day you got to compete. The whole recipe of this whole thing is work. And I think everybody thinks you got to be the fastest, you got to be this and that. No, you got to, especially in my position, what I've bought in is that you got to be able to hit a person in the mouth for four quarters and either they're going to fold or I'm going to fold. And, and you know, I'm determined to never fold. But you're going to hope to ride this momentum into next week. A meeting with Florida is on the books, and it's also going to be senior night here at Faroe Field. That game will kick off at 6 30. For now, reporting at Faroe Field, Natalie Jones, ABC 17 Sports. Thank you, Natalie. You can watch the full post-game press conference with Eli Drinkwitz and players along with extended highlights from that dominant Mizzou win on our website, abc17news.com.